Okay, and we're preparing for Governor Perry's speech here at Pete Silver's house in uh, Nashua, New Hampshire, for the Nashua Republican City Committee. And uh, there's a good crowd up on the uh, deck, and uh, a good crowd. There's Walt uh, out here on the uh, on the lawn. Multiple candidates. So there's Bob Smith, and uh, somewhere I've seen Andrew. Not sure where he is right now. I think we're good. Yep. And there's All Andrew right. Sonata, chairman Welcome of the uh, city committee. Thank you so much for coming. I have to say, when uh, we first knew that the governor was going to be in town, we were really excited because this gave us an opportunity to thank all of you for all the hard work that you've done so far in this campaign cycle and for what all of you are going to be doing as we uh, confront uh, our Democratic opponents in the general election. We have a, a really stark choice in front of us this year, as indeed we usually do. But I think um, the, the governor's uh, recent uh, events down in uh, Texas give us a, a very clear idea of the differences between our parties. We have a party that's opposed to us that really is in it for the power that they have. And they're not opposed to doing anything that they can to keep that power. Whereas our candidates up and down the line are in it to serve the interests of their constituents, to maximize freedom, and to work for justice. So, without talking here too much, uh, I do want to uh, briefly introduce you to uh, Britt Carter, who is the uh, Nashua Victory Office. Uh, I'd like you all to really get to know her quite well. Um, we're going to be having a lot of events coming up, um, call nights. Uh, she's going to be our... Uh, I don't know, coach, I guess, as we go through the election. Um, so we're all going to uh, to work really hard for Brett. So um, that piece of business behind us, we have the uh, distinct pleasure of introducing our host for tonight, uh, Pete Silva, former um, majority leader. Yes, Pete. Who will introduce the governor. So, Pete, thank you very much for hosting us. Thank you, Andrew, and thank you, everyone. Thank um, you. I didn't think I'd be back up here this quick, but it's uh, it's good to be back, especially with someone like him. And, and I think that uh, I was just telling one of the reporters, when I first met the governor, I knew right off the bat that, that he had this, um, this sharp um, look in his eye when I asked him the same question I asked all the candidates, because the three of you who, who used to listen to my radio show, or maybe four of you, <laughs> I did interview all the candidates, and I'd asked him the same question at the end, are you willing to play Smash Bros. with this guy? Because what's happened is we come in this world of PC that we can't say anything. They hide behind it, and that's why he's in the White House right now. And everybody who knows me knows I always harp about PC, so much so that when I lost my state plate, here's my new license plate. Just in case you didn't think I was serious, there it is. And that's the uh, license plate reading so, end PC. Anyway, I can tell you this much. One thing I'm certain of, if this man behind me was on that stage with Candy Crowley with that debate, he would ask about Benghazi. And guess what? He'd be president right now. And that's why Romney's not, because he was afraid to bring it up because he was PC. Sure. This man would call him up for what they are. So it's my hope that he does decide to get in the ring, and I'll be the first one behind to help him take New Hampshire. Clock TV.